Hello everybody, welcome to the third part of our tutorial. In this part we're gonna go to cover the implementation part of MongoDB with C Sharp and .NET. So the first thing you need to go is going to the command line and type MongoDB. So as you can see here we just type MongoDB and we run the server. So after you run the server uh, you're ready to go. So what I did in this app, I just created an, a normal application. Uh, this app uh, lead you to load the data. So as you can see here, we loaded all the data, and we can search the data. For example, we have a lot of categories: high, low. You can search high. You can get all the records related to the high uh, category. And the same thing for normal, you can search and do all that stuff. You can insert a new data and you can come up here to the table, double click, you can edit any value you want. For example, if I want to come to this value, for example, and want to say I want to convert this to normal, save, I can see here it's changed to normal. So, I, and again, I can insert a new value here and can type category, select the time and save and here you can see it's saved you can edit it you can do all that stuff and also you can come here and delete it so this is the app that I created using NoSQL MongoDB so in order to know how this is gonna work uh, we created the first uh, task uh, because we dealing with uh, an object in order to you know uh, apply an object oriented approach I created an object here called task and I created uh, this object so you need to import these files uh, mongodb bson so you just come to add reference add uh, reference here you just add the c sharp and the bson the bson driver and uh, uh, the driver here for mongodb so uh, those two files uh, you can uh, see them uh, we had okay we have downloaded them in the previous tutorial we have C Sharp driver and we have MongoDB. This is in the previous tutorial. I'll show you how to download this. In this tutorial, we need this file, C Sharp driver. So you just extract this file. Uh, we need these two components, the DLL file, this one and this one. You just add reference to these two uh, DLL files and you gotta see them here. Okay, so after this, you need to uh, using the, these uh, libraries. And after that, you just create the object task because I'm talking about task and, and see a category for this task and a name. And just type. So uh, first thing, first line here, we just put this definition here. Based on ID, we talking about GUID, which is the unique ID for each object in the MongoDB database. Okay. So if you go to the DB file here and see in the directory C data DB, we can see here we created an, an, a database called task. Inside this task, there's a collection called task list. Okay, so we need this uh, task list. Task list collection has a lot of tasks. So each object task has an ID. So we created a, a unique ID identifier and a name and a category and date. Notice here we imported uh, the attribute and ID generator. So you need to type this uh, above each of the attribute, and you need to type this above the unique identifier. Uh, we created a Dell object, Data X object for uh, uh, our uh, project here. So basically, what I did is importing the following libraries, okay? And after that, I created a server, Mongo server, and disposed because we want to close the connection, pull in equal false. And connection string here, we just type MongoDB and localhost and uh, save equal true. And after that, we just define the database name, which is task. So that's why you can see here in DB file, main, you know, main directory for databases, you can see here we got tasks database. It's about the initial file is about 65 megabyte. Those two file is about 80 megabyte. So we created this uh, collection name inside the database task is task list, okay? And we created the constructor. Uh, we created a method uh, to get all the tasks. So, but we created a Mongo collection. You know, we need to make a Mongo collection in order to get a list of collections. So, this Mongo collection. 
uh, we need to make a method get task collection so this get task collection you can go below here uh, we can see it yeah this one get task collection we define a server and this server mongo server create a co the connection string for the, you know we just initialize the connection with the server after that we create a database mongo database database for the database name tasks and after that mongo collection inside this database so we could just put database the git collection from type task we get collection name which is task list and after that we can see this to do collection task we can return to do task collection here and we got the mango collection after we got a mango collection we can find something on that collection so you can find all so when you find all we return all the data inside that connection and we convert this into a task and we just here return good task okay and in order to delete the task and uh, in order to do that you just type my collection we get all the tasks the same thing in previous method uh, we just define a unique identifier in order to convert the string to unique identifier you need to put this I did to replace this one by this one and var query in order to make a query uh, to be executed you need to define the something yeah you need that query to work on so I want that work on the ID to get the unique identifier from here and I need to apply this query and I need to execute this query with the remove command so I just put collection to remove uh, and execute this query and I remove the uh, specified ID the same thing for git task I just put instead of remove I just need that collection to execute the query on find on so I will find that one that has the unique identifier and return the task and the in the edit task we just pass an object from type task and we just put to save that task with a collection so we'll collection the safety it automatically will know what is the ID and it's gonna save it to create a task you just put uh, uh, you but just paste the task and instead of save you just say insert task in order to get the collection we just explain that in order to clean all the records we just get that collection and remove all you just gonna remove all the data inside that collection um, here Mongo you know get task collection for edit the same as uh, get task collection nothing fancy dispose uh, method is gonna call this method and this gotta close the server and it's gonna disconnect it okay this is the nice part this is for searching in order to search a collection we pass an object here okay so if you go to this form we got a tab here search so we pass a category or a name so when you click search we gotta execute this one we gotta create a new task and this task gotta take the take from the text box and gotta take uh, the selected item from the combo box and we gotta make a new DAL object and this DAL object we gotta pass the uh, the task object into this search and this search gonna return a list of tasks and after that we're gonna take this list of tasks and assign it to the data grid view data source so that's why you can when we execute the search operation it's gonna be uh, loaded with data so nothing fancy there we just pass the object we just get all the collection and we here we make a, a new uh, query using mongodb query so if you come here we can see here we using mongodb's driver link so we using link to in order to execute the search operations very awesome tool and you know supported by Microsoft C sharp so here Mongo collection we, we just pass a query from being collection uh, we just put as a queryable and we just type with the where condition we beat it name to uppercase because we want to uniform that all the stuff so we want to you know like when you do like operation in query this is similar to and you do just and we do not want to be more specific in search we just type b category equal equal to the t category that's why we bought the category to be high we got all the related high category fields so and after that we just make a new anonymous uh, object from type tasks so you just put select new object we just put b name b id b date b category b date 
created it. So after that we just put list task L equal a new list of tasks and we just take all the content from triple T in, in, and put it inside uh, the list here L. So but L the n add new task of the following fields uh, and after that we just return a, a list and that's why you can see uh, when we uh, search for for example normal category or high category we got all the related data uh, you know for that specified field okay so this is pretty much for this tutorial guys I hope you enjoy it uh, don't forget to subscribe here is Ahmad Nasser Studio 007 at YouTube please put comments like and subscribe share it and I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, if you need any help uh, you can uh, uh, send me an email uh, on uh, Ahmad Nasser at gmail.com so uh, be tuned for uh, new our new tutorial and I hope you like it and see you in the next tutorial thank you before I go I want to show you just my two videos that are created this is NoSQL database tutorial bar one it's an introduction to uh, no, you know NoSQL database and this is bar two it, you know it show you how you can install MongoDB into your Windows 7 so I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe Stereo 007 at YouTube thanks